So tonight's lockdown special from the pantry is going to be pork fried rice. So we're going to start with a little bit of oil in our pan. And I've beaten three eggs. Pour that into the pan and just kind of let it start to work a little bit before you start to scramble it. So it starts to do its thing. And as you can see, the edges start working quickly. So then work it through until those eggs scramble. And then we're going to set those off to the side and continue making our rice. So I used a basic vegetable oil. Uh, you could use butter, I guess, if you want. You could use peanut oil. But you know, you always get those wonderful bits of scrambled egg in your fried rice. So you don't want to cook them all the way firm because you're going to put those back in. But you don't want to have any runny bits. And they scramble quickly. Now I've not added anything to these. You could season them with salt if you'd like to, but we're trying to keep it a little bit more on the healthy side for those concerned with hypertension or water retention. And you can see our eggs are just fluffy. And firm. So you put those off to the side. Now we're going to add another tablespoon of oil. And to that we're going to add our vegetables. So in here I have onion, carrot, some green onion. I threw in a little bit of celery just because I'd like to have a little crunch. And you can see those colors are kind of like the Italian flag, which is funny. And I incorporated some green onion or scallion in here already. And we'll just saute those up until they become slightly browned and a little crispy. So I'm gonna turn my heat up and steal that little piece of egg. Delicious. So you want to cook them until they're tender. And if you notice, with the heat up, they're going to start to pop. So they're getting nice and crunchy. And being that we're doing from the cupboard tonight, I had um, pork chop. Some people use ground pork, but I had some leftover pork chop, so I'm throwing that in. Because everyone knows when you get pork fried rice in the restaurant or the takeout, you always have those beautiful crispy bits of pork. So you just add those and you're gonna cook that and let them all become nice and crispy. Or crispy as my niece would say. So don't play with it too much. Let it sizzle so that you get the brown bit on all sides. And just so you can see my face, I am here cooking it. And with that light coating of vegetable oil, nothing sticks. Hey, boy, boy, boy.
We're going to continue to cook this until it just becomes caramelized. You can see that all those little bits are starting to brown. And the smells coming off of here are just crazy good. And it's made from leftovers. And generally in fried rice, you find peas. But because we're cooking on lockdown, I had no peas in the freezer, so I'm using mixed vegetables. See how beautiful that's all getting? The little bits of pork chop are getting rendered. The carrots are cooking beautifully. Okay, now we're going to add our seasonings. And this is like my favorite little ginger grater. It's um, porcelain, it's, a, it's an Italian um, grater. You can use it for cheese, you can use it for garlic, you can use it for ginger. And it just grates it beautifully and it comes with a little brush so you can um, keep everything together. And then I'm gonna add my garlic. And then I'm going to add a cup of vegetables. And normally, as I said, it would be peas, but we're gonna use mixed vegetables because that's what we have. And just Stir that around. You can see the bottom is getting a little brown. Your bits are cooking beautifully. And the kids are gonna love it. All right, so as your vegetables start to soften up, we're going to add our rice. Now I had some leftover saffron rice and some leftover white rice. So I'm going to mix those two together. Break up that rice. Usually when I make fried rice, uh, we take last night's or leftover rice and put it on a baking sheet so it dries out a little bit, but the white rice is already pretty dry. The saffron rice is a little wet. So I mix the two of them together just because we're in the kitchen cooking from our pantry. Now to this, you'll add two teaspoons of soy sauce. I recommend using low sodium just because if my doctor heard that I was using full soy sauce, he'd probably kill me. And you can see it's starting to pick up the same color that you get when you go get takeout. And I'm adding sesame oil, which I measured off in a shot, a shot glass because it's 30 bills. It's about a teaspoon. And after this, I'm going to need a shot. So we got that going on. Sorry about the banging, guys, but... Look at how beautiful that looks. It, and, and this is like a meal for four, easily. And just break up that rice, mix it all together. 
And look at those beautiful vegetables. I mean, I'm not gonna complain to have a little corn in my fried rice. I think it's gonna just add one more dimension to a regular meal. Does that look beautiful? Break up those little rice crumbles. Oops, there's a little spit on the side. If you talk to my staff at work, they'll always tell you I'm the messy Marvin. But my stuff tastes really good. So as all those start to combine, oh, that sesame oil is amazing. You add your scrambled eggs back into the rice. Break them up and mix them thoroughly through. And notice the wonderful thing is that nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan. Now, if you wanted to do this as a main course, you could add shrimp. Imagine having like a half a pound of shrimp in here and serving it as a main course instead of a side. And then last I'll throw a little more green onion in there just to have a fresh crisp component to it. And you don't have to wait for those to cook because I like that little added crunch. And we're going to be taking some of this up to Mama in New Hampshire. And I'm sure she's going to love it. So now we're going to try it. Steamy hot. I have to tell you. If you could just follow some of these things, um, sometimes I don't know how I do it, but it comes out and people understand that like, I know flavor and this is absolutely crazy delicious from leftovers. So when you can't go to the grocery store and you have to like pull out of your pantry, pull out some old rice, pull out some frozen vegetables and make something delicious for your family. Mm, thank you.